What's going on, everyone? I am the goods on YouTube. GG so good everywhere else. Today, I want to take a look. We're going to take a look at the hook. And the hook is what enables you to be able to use mods. Make sure my system sound is down. All right. So I've already done a video about how to install mods. You guys should go and check that video out. If you don't know which video that is, I'll pull it up on my channel. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. It's this one here. Uh, the most recent one looks has Lamelo Ball from Spire right there. Okay, so that's the video where I show you how to install the hook plugin file. Now I'm gonna go to my NBA 2K22 folder. And here it is. This is my hook folder. Now every folder that has the word mods in it is a mod, a modding or modded folder. Has mods all throughout this. All right. So <clears throat> one thing I want to stress is that you can have more than one mods folder. So here's my main mods folder. I have all kinds of things in here. It, it's actually not too full, but then here I have an entire high school mod, which has, man, I don't know. It has thousands of files. It literally has, uh, um, it has almost 4,000 files in here, okay? Now, what I want to show you is when you are in game, you can press F8 and the hook plugin menu comes up. Okay, you should be it should be able to come up. Now, I am on Windows 10, so I just want to read it right that I'm on Windows 10. I'm using the Steam version of the game, not the Epic Games version of the game, but the Steam version of the game. I don't I can't help you guys with epic version of the game because I just don't have that version. Now also there's people who have a quote unquote offline version of the game. There's no such thing as an offline version. What what they're talking about is they can't connect to the 2K servers because they didn't buy the game. They have an illegal copy of the game, which I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge, but I have to let you guys know, I don't have that version of the game, so please stop asking me questions about it. Epic Games, the Epic 2K version of the game, the Epic version, and the quote-unquote offline version of the game, I don't have those. I have the Steam version, which I bought and paid for, so that's all I can help people with, okay? Don't leave any more questions in my comments about those. All right, so when we press F8, this comes up when we're in game. Now, you can select English or Chinese language. I'm going to click OK because, of course, I want it to show English. Now, there are several, several different things you can choose from here. But what I want to look at is this, mods enabled. Now, if you want the mods that you have inside of your mods folder to show up, make sure this is blue. Next, we have resources. Um, well, you know what, before I even go to resources, if you wanna turn off all mods and you just wanna play the game regular, just click here when it's gray. When it's gray, that means all mods are turned off. You can see here, mods, disable, enable, it'll tell you. All right, so I'm going to enable my mods. Now, when you click resources, the resources tells you all the modding folders that the hook is recognizing. Okay, now you can create a new mods folder here using this, and I'll show you that it'll come up. I'll show you. So here are all of my mods. Except for this one. I don't want that one showing up right now. 
But I'm going to go back in game. I'm going to use this tool. I'm going to use the hook plugin to add a new mods folder. And I'll show you what that looks like. So when I click add, it gives me this information here. Any subfolder in the games directory that starts with mod, M-O-D, will be considered as a mod resource folder. All right, so now we can create one from this tool, but it'll have mod underscore. It'll start with mod underscore. So I'm going to name it new test. No spaces. So mod underscore, the mod underscore portion is already there. The new test, which you don't see that folder here anywhere. But when I click create new, it pops up at the very top and it's already enabled. When I go back to my 2K22 folder, you can see it is now right there. But there's nothing in it. But I could start putting mods in here if I wanted to, which I don't want to. I absolutely do not want to. So um, I'm actually going to delete it, and I'm not going to delete it from here. I'm going to go back over here. If I wanted to just disable it, I would click it till it's gray. But I want to delete it, so I'm going to click on this trash can icon. Click OK. And I don't see anything happening. Uh, maybe I better read that. Delete. Make sure to delete this folder and all files in it. It is not recoverable after deletion. OK. Oh, maybe I have to turn it off. Let's try that. Well, it's not actually deleting anything. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. So. And I, I don't really know why it's not going anywhere. It's supposed to delete it, but I can just go in. I can just delete it from here. I'm going to delete. Then I'm going to press F8. Press F8 again. It's still showing up on this list. So I'm going to turn off all mods, turn it back on. I just want it to disappear. Okay. It has now disappeared from the list because I turned off all the mods, then turned them back on. Then I clicked on resources again, and now it's gone from this list, which is great because I wasn't going to use that. <laughs> I wasn't going to use that in, at all. But anyway, that's how you can use this mod. Now, if you get a mod like the high school mod, it already comes with this folder. It already so you don't need to put this folder inside of your mods folder. It starts with MOD already. So you can just put it inside your 2K22 directory and then start your game up and then you will see it. So like here, it's at the bottom on mine. It's at the very bottom. It will pop up on this list you just have to press F8 and come into this resources list now what what does it mean by order well up here uh, I think it tells you does it tell you okay you can have it says support simultaneous use of multiple my resource folders Folders priority is from top to bottom. So that means it's the the folder that's at the very top. If it has the same file as the folder at the very bottom, the game is going to use the file from the very top because this means this takes the highest precedence. The game has to use the stuff at the top first and foremost. So all my high school stuff is last. It's going to it's going to load up last. It takes a lower priority if it has the same file names as some of this other stuff, which it does, which is exactly why I put it at the bottom. And so that is you can move these around as you see. 
So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that. You can move something all the way to the top if you want it using this. Using this button, just take it to the top. But anyway, let's keep my mods folder at the very top. So I wanted to give you guys that information about resources. Now, we see here it says file load log. Sometimes you will want you will you will want this information. So if it's blue, it's enabled. If it's gray, it's not. So I keep it enabled. But if you click file manager, this is what it's talking about the file load log that's what this is so let's go ahead and clear it out and I'll show you what it does it tells you the names of the files that are being loaded so if I go over to let's say features now press F8 alright the game hasn't loaded anything new yet but if I go into create a player and then edit player. F8. All the, the game has loaded 38 new files. So that's how you can find out some of the names of the files. And you can even export them from right here. And they will go into a folder called exports. All right. So. This is how you can find some of the files that the game uses. Now, you, I said you can export here. If you know the name of the file that you want to use, and maybe it's not in this, these menus, you can just type it in here. So, like, uh, like LeBron James Cyberface. It's PNG 1013.if. If I wanted it, I could just you know type it in here click export and it will export his cyberface file into the export folder I don't want to do that and I don't want to do that I just wanted to let you guys know all right So what I'm going to do is, I think, let me see, is there anything else that I could potentially go over with you guys? Now, there are plugins. If you don't know about plugins, well, I don't know what to tell you. If I click Plugins Manager, let me get rid of this. Plugins Manager tells me all the plugins that I have. So I have Blacktop Plus, which is a paid plugin but then I have three free ones now the un unlock debug options actually has to be uh, updated but these other ones are also running roster modding and it tells you exactly what it does player editor it's going to give you some additional options and these options here headband option unlock shoe brands unlock retired numbers and so I'll show you in game when I go to accessories see it has a headband option that's not usually there in game but anyway so that's how you can use the additional functionality for the NBA 2K hook plugin, come in game and press press F8, and then you can you know use the different menu options. All right. Now he even has a. You can you can even donate to him here it tells you where to donate anyway all right guys that's all I got for this video I needed to do this video to give you guys extra information about Louis NBA 2k 22 hook plug-in
because a lot of you just didn't know about some of those options, especially the ability to have multiple folders. All right, guys, this video has come to an end. Feel free to post questions and comments.